Okay. Engine, check. Rear thrusters, check. Big thing basket, uh, check. 
Hello anyone who may be watching now or later, hit in here along with his humble servant, Drakir. And I need to fix that for a second. Uh, yeah, I've, I've tinkered around with OBS a bit, uh, but that should probably be the biggest issue at the moment. Uh, let's see, why is there a second save here now? Okay. Wait, did this it remember is the tale your... thus far. In the foundry, a powerful guardian. Its heart corrupted, its purpose thwarted. Only life can drive back such sorrow. Adard was lost, and darkness came upon the horsemen. Yeah, it, it might be reading my other play, my my playthrough on the other uh, on the normal version as well. Was just to, to say, investigate that. that. Yeah, I was just to ask if that was the case before I got interrupted by the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, I'm I'm keeping I'm keeping up with uh, where we are in this, or trying to at least, on the normal Dark Siders version, just in case anything goes wrong. Like we've we've seen some minor glitches here and there, so I don't really think it would be needed, but still as a backup. Either way. Your voice cracked again. Okay. I think that it's called cracked. When it gets a bit electronic for a short moment. Uh, no, that's that's not what people typically mean with that. Uh, let's see, game is a bit soft again. Very soft, actually. What the heck is going on with that? Okay, I'm guessing I'm guessing the menu was just being muted. But yeah, last time we extended things a bit to take on, well, a big ass boss. <laughs> and yeah, now the past forwards is free, so let's go take a look. Do I just have the sound on this thing lower or not? Something? The boss forward? And now, now we can move forward. <laughs> the Verdant Hollow. Okay. I don't remember much actually from here on out. But yeah, yep. Okay, that was a rather short trip to the Tree of Life that seemed to be in the <laughs> miles and miles away in the other areas. Okay, I'm just... Hmm. Is something... Has something else... Oh, I think... Uh, I think I know what happened. It... It's it's messing things up a bit. It's take... It, it has taken the save you know, file... Or it rec it's recognizing the save file. And the settings of lack of... When I was playing on the normal version. That's why everything was so low, because I yeah, I turned it down low because I heard everything already there. Okay. Is that normal? It shouldn't be, but yeah, it, it happened, so yeah, well I'll just have to keep that in mind every time, and is that the same one we know? Okay. Shorn of life. Oh, 
are humans and weak and simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us, slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb. And even death himself will not escape it. Okay. What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The Eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the Dead Kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the Tree of Life, I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the Tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the Tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the well of souls. Hmm. Yeah, that was something, huh? But yeah. I'm not really sure what really happened there. That did the hmm. did Absalom become corruption or did was he taken as an avatar for it or something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we we saw his body dissolve there, but we didn't see any other Nephilim's bodies dissolve similarly. 
good question, though. He, he might be a very powerful one that ended up becoming an, an avatar of his own. True. That also gives me uh, brings up a bit of a question. Uh, if the corruption is actually no. Hmm. Okay. The, the way I'll think on it for the moment is that that Absalom became or was corrupted because hmm, because if he was trapped in the amulet like the other Nephilim, then. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to control the corruption outside of it, I think, or maybe he would be able to. Probably it's a bit confusing. Maybe he so was so tainted that he was unable to absorb into it? Maybe. For now, though, let's continue our chats with this guy here. You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first, nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Well, what? Hmm? Ostagoth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that a name that's familiar to you? That's a very old name from Rem right for East Germans. Oh, West Germans, perhaps. No, East Germans, I mean, think. Okay. He does have a bit of a Krampus look to him, but that's basically every goat man ever. I was thinking more for like a, well, pawn, or a satyr or pawn. True. Let's see. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more. The well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim. And from the four. Why? Mm. Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. Mm. I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten? No, the Nephilim live on in you. <laughs> but what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed. But the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. Mm. Okay, so that it's in the background right now. That's probably the portal that leads back to the Forge Lands. And then there, I was there were two, there were two open, no, not open. There were two circles there that there could have been uh, portals. All new items well. from lands near and far. Okay. I actually forgot to look up on the uh, the damage thing, but let's let's trust on the game to uh, at least, yeah, calculate things well enough on its own. Yeah, wait, did you research a bit of that? Yeah, but that was on the stats. Uh, ah. With that, basically, it is strength does indeed, uh, well, 
strength and melee damage and pretend that oh. I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There, the Lord of Bones slumbers. <laughs> he will guide you to the well, <laughs> or he will have your soul. Before you go, horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. <laughs> you may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. Okay, uh, like I was going to say, both strength and arcane strengthen the sight attacks. Like, uh, one percent each, you know, with each. And beyond that, strength strengthens the, uh, let's see, the harbinger skill tree and arcane the Necromancer uh, tree. And since we're mostly going for the Harbinger skills, strength will be a lot more useful to us. Oh! That's the first thing uh, that. Uh, yeah, now we have an, uh, another collection quest over here. And yeah, we could go back to the Forgelands, which is why uh, I forget, I'm actually blanking on her name. That's why uh, there's two statues of her here. Though, where these would, where this one would go, I don't remember. These are the Forgeland and its people, the makers. I like them for, like, sure, they all make a lot of things of stone and stuff, but they still respect uh, nature. Yeah. Like, they, they understand that, yeah, they, they love making things so much that they understand if they break the entire forest that there's nothing left to make anything from. Like, they understand there's a need for balance. Yeah, there's, there are somewhat between dwarves and elves on that, I'd say. Like, they, they, yeah. have, the, they have the stature, or the, they have the height of elves in some places. Though actually, they are a lot taller than elves probably would be. They, they have the shape of dwarves. And, yeah, the rest is a bit... The rest of it still leans mostly to dwarves and such, but still. Yeah. But uh, more like a dwarf that's been living so long that I understand uh, to be careful about the environment. Yeah, it's and like, aren't like. isolating themselves on the ground, and that's uh, quite a th few. Please don't tell me that's the boss. I would not be surprised. Uh, do, do you see in the background? <laughs> yeah, lots of uh, serpent bones, I'm presuming. Is that you, Jorman Gander? <laughs> Could be. I guess uh, he lost his battle with Thor uh, <laughs> a lot more defini definitively in this world, then. And this. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of terrifying. Uh, oh god. Look, if you just know it, this is the realm of the dead, makes you wonder is that st thing still alive or not? Well, that one over there is. So we'll just have to see. Wait. Is that dead Bill? Hey, Bill! Uh, yeah, now um, he's twice dead Bill. Uh, oh, Bill. here's dead Ted. <laughs> He's been had. Okay, okay. well, I'm curious what he would have done to the skeletons here. Probably just tore them in half. Actually, I could have just some. I, I, I missed the fact that we could summon despair to this. Seems it's not the own. It seems that isn't the only uh, statue, I presume. So I very much doubt that all of them can come to life. It's, there's something here. There's a choke. Now a checkpoint here. Or a fast travel point. Oh, it's my crate. Thank you. 
Yeah. And I'm presuming that this is going to be locked for now. Ooh. <laughs> That's this a great door. I'm not sure if we're even supposed to go this way yet. But Lair of the Deposed King. <laughs> Having all of them left, well, almost all of them light up like that. Yeah, yeah that, that is yeah, a sight. Not, yeah, that's what I'm going to react you to. Because I accidentally took over you. It's... Is that for you guys for? Yeah, no problem. And scarabs. Okay, these we can just we, these we can kill a lot easier than this than the freaking stingers. Well, that happened. So we should think people are talking to the scarabs are related to spiders. Um... So. Oh, I think I they have six it. legs. Yeah. Yeah, I think we that too, and we why I'm being confused. Like, I wonder... Do I remember something wrong, or someone being very misinformed, and... It took off? Yeah. A common relic of the House of Esogos, a noble family with strong ties to magic. Sell this relic to Ostagos for your reward. And... Please, <laughs> don't tell me all their names end in golf. On that, I was actually wrong about the boatman coins that we've been collecting in the Forge Lands. Uh, boatman won't buy them, but he will trade uh, them. Uh, he, knew he will allow. He takes them as a currency, but we'll also have to spend gold next to that for uh, basically randomized item boxes. Sort of loot boxes, but then with gear. I was actually going for the bug. I have, I have no idea if we're actually supposed to go this way or not, so we might just be wandering around aimlessly with this. May you not accidentally break the game from this. Um, wait, yeah. where do you want to go? There's some, some sort of shade. Okay, that was about what I expected. There's uh, some sort of black wind bloop through that room back there. Couldn't see if it was a sh if it had a shape or not. It looked like a shape that walked past you. Now the Vulcan coin, yeah, can be traded with Volgram for unique items. Let's not go down there. Uh, ah, there we go. When did we? Oh, jump! I have to go alone. Okay, that was sort of wasted. It, uh, wait. Okay, so we can use death grip even when we don't have it selected. Yep, that is nice. Very nice. <gasps> okay. Second chip. Nothing down there except for a lot of previous victims. Like, if that if that's actually, it's probably just bones that have fallen out of the walls and such. But if that was had been a pile of previous adventures, it would have been comedic, more so than scary. <laughs> we don't have a key, so... Yeah, we'll have to go back. <laughs> Still, far from the worst necropolis that I've ever seen in a game. I don't think I've seen many bad necropolis. Yeah, it's it's a bit hard to screw up a place of uh, own, of bones and such. True. Mm. Were, I feel like uh, things they can screw up on are usually underwater combat. 
like on the wood area and uh, something desert. Yeah, de deserts are pretty bland typically because, well, yeah. most of the time it's just sand. Yeah, the, there are some things that be very good, and other ones I just, I just want to be over it. it it's kind of funny. When I play the other two, I usually, I had a, a, a sort of like the desert area where I mostly disliked it as well. But I kind of like the desert area in the Abyss Okay. Most of it was a bit more variant and kind of again, off the head with the random events. And you had a bit more like, you had desert, you had badlands, you had oasis, you had all the time you had, had things but you did have some oasis and more other things going on. Okay. And then again, it also just looked nicer in a way. And I, I could have just gone along this n <laughs> the other side of the wall, but I missed off the grapple point for one of the uh, wooden pegs that we've been <laughs> using to boost ourselves. Oh dear. So my thing with it, if someone asked, what asked me which game had the best desert level, I don't think I'd be able to answer it. Okay. We also okay. have... Oh, okay. Okay, I see on the mini-map there's another door there. Because I was thinking, are we already at a dead end or something here? That is an interesting... Um, security system. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh. Skeletal wall. <laughs> it says it, it's exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> okay. okay. That's probably what I expected, but there's only so many ways that you can mangle a bunch of bones. Uh, so didn't we get some sort of a counter attack last time? Okay, this is the destructible thing. Uh, let's take a quick little look here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I th might be misremembering something, but I think we got access to some sort of counter dodge. Let's see. During forward evade, no. After any crossover. Crossover special. Hmm. General yeah, yeah, yeah. E evade counter timed right button against incoming attacks. Okay, oh, right. so be I'm guessing it didn't trigger because I was holding the button or mo no. moving the mo uh, control stick. We'll have to test that on something else later then. For now, let's. Okay, we can't pass here, but there's something reasonably important there. Whoa. Oh. Sorry? Ugh. I I've been pretty sneezy today. <laughs> that was almost one there. It's Which almost why I have to sweater back. again. Yeah, not to my knowledge, no. Which is, well, kind of a bad <laughs> Be talking behind my back. We've got a decent amount of new gear, so let's take a look at if we have anything better. Yeah, mm -hmm. look that you've got some new gear. Let's see. These are the same damage. Health per kill. Did that? Wait, oh, we already have those equipped, yeah. Uh, Every time I press the wrong freaking button with that the first time, 
Let's see, with gauntlets, the dark talons. Let's see, that would lower ice the DPS. They have special ability Ice Touch. Okay. Ice Damage. Let's see. The Dead Lord loyal to the deposed king, Argo fought these claws from the heart. We've seen, yeah, we've read that. This We got this from one of the mini bosses, I think. Hmm. Let's let's try them out, even if to see what the effect uh, does. Hmm. One hundred yeah. defense. Okay, let's take that. Doesn't look half bad either. Yeah, hey, you got actually a bit of more armor, even though it's mostly one plate for your armpit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, relic of Itsu. Itsu Goth. <laughs> Pardon? Okay, man. Uh, let's see. We. These look familiar. Uh, they they look a bit like the portal. Uh, like the the portal slates from Darksiders One. And seeing as there's one here and one over there, I'm guessing they'll be functioning the same way. That also means that we can't progress here at the moment either. Okay. Damn it, Look my teeth gone cold. I got I am drinking a bowl of tea. Okay. A bit overkill maybe. Okay. The only find something. My only cops uh, are in the washing machine, and the only cops are just too small at the moment, so. Help me in my giant red cup. This is all I would have to hide me over a cup and a bowl. Well, seriously, I can't eat cereal from there. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh god, it's bigger than my, my other food bowls. Why have I having uh, thought of this? Uh, I see. I think I see already what's going. what we are going to have to do. First, we've got this. Uh -oh. Put it on that. Run? No, it, it's the stable ones. But we still want to equip this. Stable around you. We, we, we know your ex experience with explosives. And okay, that did not. Okay, that didn't reach the other thing. So we'll have to. Yeah, we'll have to put one in between. Yeah, I'm guessing that switch. We'll low, we'll lower. Well, we, no, we'll we'll remove this bridge, but lower the other one or raise it, that, whichever of the terms would be applicable now. Ah. And just to be freaking sure, there. Back to oh. pistol. Before I forget, just something to hold your mind. While you're in the, on this level, you have been uh, probably unaware that you've been killing movies. Okay. The regular skeleton war, uh, the regular skeleton. There were no clothes at all. A uh, good chance that they just fell off with time. Yep. They make them notice. Okay, or, now we can progress. Would that make still count as nudis? Uh, not really. Nudis would be more the the case if people are voluntarily not dressing. Dude, there's a bunch of these freaking things. Yeah. There we go. And wait, you don't have to go in this These children have always been afraid to dress themselves. So again, maybe the scarves were up in the boat. Maybe. Okay. And now we can get back through here. Yep. 
or can no this leads back here can we jump over this no let's see how are we expected to get back then with this oh i see already i overlooked that bit uh, tunnel vision There we go. And now we can move on. But that thing in the middle looks a... The underside looks a bit like those things that we've been getting uh, items from. Or new abilities. be next then. Some more platforming. Or, actually no, we can just jump down because we can't take fall damage unless we fall into a hole of course. <laughs> This little corridor, nothing to really add to then. Where are we even going with all this? We know we're headed for the Well of Souls, but where the hell is all of this going? Yeah, but me wonder if you're not going in the wrong area. Well, we only could go this way or to the other entrance, or the other crypts. Oh, if they only could see a water crit. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. I cannot. Let's see. Why is this even oh there that's why that's even here. Okay. And how do we get up to that or do we just use the death grip normally? No, it's out of range. Okay. Oh, almost missed this one. No time to show off death. Okay. Go up and across. Okay, why is there a split here? Okay, because loot. Alright, that's great. Thank you, Alvin. The other guy that is corruption, he spoke about uh, them, uh, the Nephilim taking over Eden, but they've said it went to the humans. Yeah. So, question is, is Earth Eden? Or yeah. Or, well... Did? Um, no, no, no. In we Last... Uh, oops, that, that, I almost missed that. Uh, Eden was where humankind was created, but then was banished from later. And... Yeah. There's one. Then uh, that one angel made it his... Uh, that one angel still kept it hidden somewhere. But yeah, that hmm. impossible. Yeah, this is what Yeah, this is depending on how they game the the game has to be for free with me to create a more unique story. The question is Earth in them or did humanity get kicked out from uh, another uh, type of Eden? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we are, we visited Eden in Darksiders 1, and yeah, hu humans were cast out from there, and it was ab ab abandoned as well. But the, the, the battle of the ne the battle with the Nephilim would have been at the very least probably millennia ago, at the very least. Probably more. 
many millennia, so we for humanity will do our form there. Pretty much. Like, I'm really sure why they sent us through a dungeon just to move into another open this is area. A place for all of us. Is it that or you going to the wrong place? Yeah, I'm, I'm following the marker on the minimap. And yeah, we don't have to fight each and every creature. We can just run past a good amount. But that's the boring one. And this is a scary thing, so multiple very big things. Look, no clothes! No. What have we here? Oh! Serpent's Peak. Never wanted to go here. Pretty sure you could have just asked a cab or something to write and bring you here, Des. This is badass. <laughs> yeah. Finish <laughs> like. Is this supposed to be a new version of the Flying Dutchman? I guess, I guess so. Well, either yeah. that or. Aaron got a upgrade! Yeah. He went from a, a dingy ass boat to a big ass uh, skull boat. You know that, or people are constantly relying about his boat being small. And um, what the. Oh. Yeah, what yes. the heck are those? I thought those were more serpent. Who knows? Those are anchors. <laughs> That's some badass anchors. Yeah. I swear, if, if David Young's Easter cut the number 51. Okay, here to wait, next. hold on. If the anchors are this big, the most material ones are that big. Are we on the boat of deviants? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> uh, it is, it is called the Dead Kingdom, so anything dead dies would likely end up here eventually. Is this where I was supposed to go? Yeah, please. I think the captain picked on you. Yeah, we can. Uh, now we can jump on this one. And why? Okay, they had a third. Does that mean that there's a second one on this side as well? Actually... Oh, there there was. Yeah, I, I'm guessing from the thing that we swung from. I feel sorry for anyone below that it fell on. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have been dead enough already to not feel it. And well, with the size of it, they probably wouldn't have been able to... <laughs> they probably would have killed everything in a square me... Yeah, yeah. in a mile uh, radius. Yeah, about probably things. Actually, what the zombie tubers up with and... Uh, before also you be a clip with zombie tubers to the actually mention for the love? And what's problem way? Everyone that... Uh, like, uh, not in reference to her, you've been to the speak about she actually got pulled by bird, which like she corrected that it was our first single. And I remember you the last way. That's horrible. What could be worse than that? And then last... How would you want to be being kicked by a damn thing? Yeah, probably would burn as well. Yeah, it, it, as it is. I think the only reason I'm thinking of that is because it gave me flashback of uh, a scene from one of those uh, live action Flintstones. <laughs> okay. Yeah, basically, it tells that you. It's literally over an entire car. And it's very disgusting when you realize it's supposed to be a pterodactyl guano. Yeah. And then I just had the stupid idea to imagine what the heck a phoenix would do if it was a big phoenix. And that would be more terrifying. Yeah. Disgusting, but terrifying. It's not a happy it would be like the dropping napalm. May no game to it for you that as a thing. And here we have the hub for this area. Is that bloody DBMs? Uh, we'll see in a second. Uh, did the Chancellor send you? Well, horseman. I've beaten death once, and I can do it again. I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. You still reek of hope. You couldn't have met the Chancellor. The Chancellor doesn't sound like much. For ages, his tongue has dripped venom into the dead king's ears. He all but sits upon the eternal throne, demanding service. Who are you? I am the Master of Blades. In all that remains of a warrior once called Draven, and the kingdom of man. I should have passed through the world of souls long ago. But I won my freedom in the arena, only to fall beneath the dead king's whip. Draven, I think we have one of his weapons. Yeah, uh, those are some nice swords he has. Yeah, he has a katana, two more normal, or... Is that a rune? Is that a dagger with runes? Some form of glyphs, at least. And he has a arming sword. I think it's a correct term for that kind of broad sword for... What top is not a typical pink? He may also have a bastard sword, and... I don't know what he has on his shoulder. Uh, I think that was a gift from someone trying to kill him. <laughs> okay. Saying that. Okay, he has the same function as Thane in the other play. Eh, in the Forge Lands. And he will teach us combos. Let's see. Arm blade training, whirlwind combo. Enhances arm blade charge moves by allowing sweet speed. Wait. Okay, that one snuck up on me. <coughs> Pardon? Sweet spot release timing. Hmm. 
I don't actually know what that is. Oh, we can guess. Hmm. For now, though, let's buy ourselves some new skills. Wait, also... he has more blades in his shoulder! There's a broken one this is under! <laughs> yeah, so we spent expected. over half of what he had. Of, of, what we, yeah, of all the money we had. Okay, but... Sounds like it's trouble in paradise. Or... Hell. I beg your pardon, sir! <laughs> Do you hear what he's dead? Uh, no. His version of a well is may you feast on the blood of your enemy. <laughs> okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Guess that it more than easily explains all of the blades in his back. What have we got it? It's another of the mail stations. A gift from an Oh yeah, we 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 heard of this last time, but we didn't actually go look for it. Uh, let's see. I offer you this invitation to compete, and compete in the Crucible. Eternal glory awaits you upon completion. If you survive, seek me out to cha accept my challenge. Note you can reach the Crucible by fast travel to the map. Okay. I don't remember uh, this at all. The Fool. Upon a new adventure, all is unknown. The Traveler starts the Fool, gaining knowledge as the path is revealed. Crucible has been unlocked on the world map. Take which you discard and discover the identity of the sender and their motivations. I don't remember a thing about this. Might be some of the DLC or something. For now, though, it seems we need to be up here. Though the, I think, yeah, the, it's marked in red, so that we shouldn't be able to enter there. So. No one disturbs the Lord of Bones without say of his Chancellor. A rider in the Kingdom of the Dead? No, no, this will never do. I must speak with the Lord of Bones. <laughs> oh, that is not possible. My lord attends his realm, a burden beyond even your ken, horseman. And what is your use? The doorstop. There is but one way to draw him from his slumber. The Gilded Arena. Here mortals are offered a last chance to earn freedom from the grave. A boon that includes an audience with the king. Defeat the arena's champion and return here with its skull. His majesty will grant you an audience. And where is this arena? Fret not, We have already arrived. Yes? What does a kidna have to do with your kingdom? Last I heard, she had one of her own. The Shadow Realm, Isolik, yes. Where the sisters sightless spin their webs. Many of my lord's foes escaped there when his rule was still young. We hunted them down. A kidna herself barely escaped. Perhaps she took shelter here and yet weaves her evil. Your king is not the first to rule here, is he, Chancellor? There was another, a creature called Argu, too mad to be kept upon the throne. I helped my lord be rid of him, and even destroyed a few of his servants. Tisk, tisk. What will my lord do without me? Let me speak to the Lord of Bones, and I will spare your champion. And perhaps you as well, Chancellor. <laughs> you cannot slay that which is already dead. But you're welcome to try in the arena. The 
forget what I said about sparing you, Lord Keeper. Tell me about the King of the Dead. His reign is eternal. His word is law. And his time is invaluable. I ensure that he need only speak with those who are worthy. Then you must rarely see him, Chancellor. Should anything happen to you, <laughs> you I'm not sure there. if I could live with myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can all s smell the evil Chancellor trope coming from a mile away here. Oh, that was my socks, but you are right! <laughs> and also... Uh, I, I want you, you to tell me an honest answer. Hmm? Will you want a ship like this for yourself? It's a bit, a bit oversized. <laughs> what? You mean you, you dislike cleaning? Yes. <laughs> That's, what? Okay, we're level twelve. So shouldn't we be access to this already? Oh no, that's a, that's an enhancement to. Unstoppable. Okay. The heck is As that? Said, I really like the sound. It's being drawn by two giant serpents. I think worms might be a better word for it. But yeah. Yeah, a serpent, or I guess Lindworm? Or Lindworm, as we say in Sweden? So. They don't usually levitate. Yeah. And the only ones that serpent I know that levitates around is probably Yeah, basically Chinese dragons. Okay, let's But well, I guess but that's well, also because of Walter, but he has weakness, so he's not really levitating. Okay. It's flat <laughs> So more like a, a wing. A winged serpent would be the correct description. Yeah. I was thinking dragon for a sword you know, for a moment, but no, normal dragons still have the feet as well. Yeah, or at least the, legs. the only dragon type I know of that has no legs at all are winged worm. It is a Swedish word, as far as I know. I don't, I don't know how uh, the other Scandinavians pronounce it, if they even use the big term. It's, but it's basically the typical snake dragon, like things, except my to like they can. Okay, <laughs> they don't get along. So I think they're both pretty lucky to be alive with those big ass spears through them in the first place. God, there was all... Yeah! It's, it seems painful. they have. Yeah, they're, they're angled to miss the throat, I think. Uh, yeah. Likely the neck spine? They, all, they do seem to be rather undead. And I, I almost completely missed this guy until I glanced through the minimap. I have wares aplenty. If you have coins to spare. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that the Khajiit has wares if you have coin meme wasn't around yet when this game came out. <laughs> but that was pretty much it, word for words. With different <laughs> words. How did you get here? A merchant knows many roads. Not all of them are shared with horsemen. Wait, oh gosh, Haley, as you realize, the, the Khajiit thing... It's not new, it's just a reinvention of a very old trend of uh, Middle Eastern merchants. Okay. If you look at some movies and games with the Middle Eastern characters that are merchants, it is a very old trope. There is a... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to use an example here. Like, uh, Asid has the words you want, or something like that. They. They use all sort of things like that. I, I only now realize that that's a very old trope. 
Let's see. Health on execute. Lower broadcast. Let's sell this one. Uh, oh, these are actually more defense. And strength. Okay, so these. I also found out something with possessed weapons. It, uh, the rarity determines how much an item feeds it. And there is a maximum amount that they can be fed. Yeah. Still keeping all of those. As much as oh, that one. Mario was strong. Yes, I'll... Mm. Okay, is it, have, have, what weapons have we tried so far? For, I don't think I've seen us really use the, the, the glaives so far. far. Now, I think we we used one for a bit, but it, it's it's not really too different. We, we basically have big uh, heavy weapons and then claw stuff. So it's di it differs in appearance, but not really in playstyle. Gilded arena. Wait, gilded arena? Oh dear, are we gonna about to get blinded by gold? With how everything else is looking here, I find that a bit doubtful. Then why even bother me with the gilded arena? Hey, the heck is this? Good question. Okay, now we're dealing with light puzzles. Yep. Okay. Ooh, we need to go find Volgrim still. We have boat coins to trade in. Or trade for stuff. What have we here then? The arena? your champion and so all challengers boast that most leave in torment their souls burn from existence and our champion all the stronger for it enough bring out your champion there is power in this one, power enough to do as he claims. But our champion is no cur to be summoned at will. You must draw him forth. This altar holds his power. The souls of all he has slain and consumed. Three animus stones must be placed therein. And our champion will arrive. Well. So once again, we must go grab three rocks and put them in a thing. Yeah, and I love their voice acting. Yeah. So also happy there was subtitle, but it was a bit hard for them to hear some of the words, but I asked them why due to how they speak. Okay, this just goes down to the lower level. But uh, yeah, possessed statues is not a thing you see too often. Well, animated statues, that you do see pretty regularly. But uh, yeah, statues that can move themselves somewhat, but aren't actually animate and intelligent. Those are a rarity, I think. Yeah, I think they used to become one, then sort of fell out. 
Like they again, they used to be common. Well, we did have, yeah, we did have with this honored, where the Lila statues. Uh, those, I'm pretty sure those could come to life if we, yeah, they, we had it with one. And it, it started moving once we came close enough, but there was a lot more animate movement and not, yeah, like I mean with these four jackasses. Hmm. Yeah, they might hear you. <laughs> what are they going to do? Spin in circles at us? They may stare at you just judgefully. I'm pretty sure they've been able to practice the devil evil eye. They don't have any eyes. <laughs> so it'd be a bit hard for them to pull off. <laughs> Well, if Khan can say he could feel a blind woman stare, what do you think these can do? Well, we're still not entirely sure if she is blind or is just uh, covering her eyes to help with uh, her spiritual sight. True. <laughs> okay, we're just switching to this permanently. Yep, I said permanently. There we go. Okay. There. <laughs> kind of surprised we didn't fall back into the pit there. Okay. into the dressing room. seen that one coming and for a moment I thought I launched him into the freaking ceiling there because I didn't see where he landed. Yeah. He's not the first jump on Kuri we fought. No, he's the first one we got that two of the new block. Yeah. yeah. Good thing this place out. Okay, there's just constantly spawning skeletons. Uh, so something I must do or just kill everyone. Pretty sure we got rid of the warrior now. Because I'm not seeing him get him back up. And yeah, these, these sites are freaking useful with, with healing us every time we kill something. Uh, <laughs> what did we just pick up? Some sort of ring? Let's have a look. Take those. Take those. Ooh. Okay, which nice no, was a talisman. Yeah. Okay. Now I see you have quite some nice boots and gold bucks now. Yeah. They almost fit together a bit if they were the same color. Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to take a look at that arena sometime later. Maybe once we're done with this region. Now though, we have a stone to go get. So, we can get this... Okay, the camera glitched through the wall there for a bit. Oh, I see some... I see several things to blow up. Yeah, so that must mean that there are shadow bombs somewhere nearby. And that means that something has to weigh this down. Or can we just... Probably not. Nope. Always still worth a try. 
Okay, what do we need to move over here then? Pointing us that way. Can it be done, done by just being a little bit faster? Oh, no, I don't need to do that because we have a freaking grapple. Yeah, that makes things a lot of things easier. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it blew the entire thing up. Well done. A death lantern. Yep. I cannot. This thing reminds me a bit of one of the heroes from League of Legends. I forget his. I, th I think his name was Trash. Not trash, but with an E. Trash? He had a, a, a soul lantern like that. Trish? Trash? Yeah. Never heard of. Uh, he's also a sort of Grim Reaper like character. And there's no light coming from this. Wait. I think you're supposed to put the mandal on him. Probably. Let's see. Okay, this, what is this going to do? Open the oh, open these up, then we can go grab the lantern and bring it over here. Wink. Death just cheats so much with those Reaper arm manifestations of his. <laughs> okay, the occupants are a bit angry here. And that there is something we could have collected if I hadn't missed an optional NPC in the Forge Lands. Uh, well, when we get back to the tree of when we get back to the tree, I'll see if we can go find them. That feels like a Conan the Destroyer reference. I'm not familiar enough with them. Basically That's... they put a horn on a statue and it turns alive. Okay. Here is reverse. Animus stone, a stone imbued with the power to breathe life into sleeping horrors. One of, the, one of three stones required to resurrect the arena champion. Okay, so it it's the, the champion isn't even uh, quote unquote alive even at the moment for us to fight. Okay, I hope this isn't going to be a regular thing that we get ambushed by freaking scarabs. So these things are level 14. Hmm? A level! Yeah. Hmm. It does remind me, on my original playthrough through this game, or rather the original version of this game, I got to level 20 by the time I, it, uh, I got through the end. So we could use that sort of as a measure of how far we are into the game as well. Or at least how well we are doing. Yeah. Okay, just... That, that, was, that only killed three of them. I thought there were more. Okay, backstepping time. Also, I'm pretty sure scare, actual scabs aren't meant to have, like, little Cthulhu hand mounts. 
I think those are mandibles, though they are going too, away around too quickly for me to have a proper look. Surely they'll just keep, keep getting them quickly and you're doing a keep good job. Yeah. I think you just remember something. I think you can eat Scarab. I think I'll pass on that, like with every other bog in existence. You can see about that. Like, it's not an to eat some of the bugs. I sure I can try it, but I'm probably not gonna adapt it as a menu unless I really need to. That's a bit random to find here. Is that west, west, north, east? Hmm. For a website? I very much doubt that. Maybe for a maze of some sort? Uh, just the skeleton's yeah, waking yeah. up. Hmm. I'm guessing we could have... Actually, no, we couldn't have gotten in there because there's no gem or something in this one. Turn this thing away for a sec. Yeah, we wouldn't... Okay, we couldn't have entered there before yet. Okay. Because now we'll have to backtrack to a different place where you can make progress then. <gasps> But yeah, we got one of the stones. Probably going to be that each door in the arena leads to one more. So we'll just have to figure out how to get to the other doors. And no dress rehearsal this time. My throat is almost healed, from what I can feel. Hmm. Uh, yeah, same here. Yeah. But so yeah, hopefully by having... next stream it'll be gone, or it'll be... Uh, my, what, what's irritating my throat might be gone. Still have no idea what it might actually be. I also <laughs> been really having something with my throat, but it's not been extremely mild. You have it really bothered me. I'm still feeling just fine. And I know mm -hmm. I got it from my... Uh, well, from my mother's... <laughs> Sambo. Uh, there's no English word for it. I can't say boyfriend, but that's not true, really true either. Okay. But I got some sort of a mild cold or something from him, but I'm starting to feel better as well. I'd probably be fine by Thursday. Okay, hopefully me as well. For now, though, I still have water to help ease the annoyance. Yeah. No, I had them doing shop for me today. Just to, since they warned that if you have something that looks like a cold, don't go to the store. So, yeah, they went to the store for me my moment ago. Okay. Uh, do I need, am I really going to need to walk all the way around to get there? Or, no, I can just jump down and move up on the other side. Okay. <clears throat> uh, if any of these freaking doors were open, that is. Okay. Hmm. Where do we need to stick this stupid stone? Oh, I haven't said it. I like the music here. Yeah. It's a lot more subdued than it was in the Forge Lands, which is, of course, fitting since it's a place of death. And uh, yep, hello there in the chat, uh, new Gundam Gaming. Uh, what's with the countdown? This isn't a Thunderbirds episode. <laughs> Don't 
gonna say, the music feels, it is good, but it also feels odd, like, is it really fitting this area? Hmm. Are they open on this side, or? No, they're not. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's a raid, apparently. <laughs> uh, hello, all who are visiting. <laughs> thanks for coming. <laughs> and and thanks for the follow as well there. Uh, where the heck do I need to go with this? Uh, pretty sure the doors are locked, so where the heck do I need to stick this stupid stone? Yep. Thank you for the follow as well, Drum... Uh, Dr. Zombie. Yep. <laughs> I almost read that wrong. Okay, just where the heck do Show we need to go? Way. Another follows. Thank you, uh, Jump Crouch YouTube. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Here. Sorry, I have awful timing. <laughs> no worries, uh, uh, New Gundam Gaming. Why the heck are you sending me to this? Oh, do I need? Oh, I need to. Do I need to pull it down? Yes, I do. Myself and mute myself during cutscenes, typically, to uh, well make it a bit nicer to look at. Uh, anyway, well, thank you all for coming. I uh, hope you all find what we are doing here amusing enough. <laughs> uh, I was kind of expecting a bigger fight there. Uh, as for how I'm doing, at the very least, my throat is a bit sore from an infection or something, I think, but it's on the mend, so. Next time I stream should be gone, hopefully. <laughs> Same for me on my end. Thanks. Now, did one of these doors open? The or something. Since, uh, yeah, the only one that was had it had their, themselves tested, and it was just a code. And I probably just got the same thing from him. So I'm in on the safe area. Ah, there we go. And yeah, this character here is the horseman called Death, and yes, he is holding his sights backwards. <laughs> and yes, that is dangerous because with some model, with some of these scythe models, he is stabbing himself in the back with it. <laughs> yeah, so he's not using them backwards when he's fine. There we go. Skeletons easy enough to smash. Now, let's see. Uh, currently where we are for the people joining in, this is basically the land of the dead of this universe. And uh, yeah, we need to speak with the dead king to get to where we want to go. But sadly, the, the dead king has come down with a sad case of worm tongue, AKA a jackass that is, well, Taking control instead. Oh dear. More corruption crystals to destroy. More pits that we don't want to fall into. Let's see. Oh, this didn't even need the light beam to open up. Okay. <gasps> yep. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. They have a box right there and an opening to it, but then they block it off. Okay. Now then... Okay, this one is missing its lantern, so we'll have to find it a new one. Okay. Where will be the quest? And where will we find stuff to break the corruption crystals here? Guess we need to get rid of those as well. Yes. Can the beam destroy them? No, but it can go straight past them to nothing. Okay. Open this up again. Did I overlook anything? No stuff hiding on the ceiling. 
<laughs> okay, where are they hiding their stuff this time? Hmm. We can't slip past those things. We can't make any use of this thing without its lantern, so we'll have to blow up one of the other... Oh, well, there we are. Okay. Over here. Uh oh. Run! Oh. These are the inert ones again that we actually have to damage. Yes, yeah. some of those blow up on their own. Um, have you forgotten the golden rule? Hmm? Uh, which Do one? Number 573? Well, the one where uh, the cool dudes don't watch the explosion. <laughs> But death isn't a dude, death is a Nephilim. <laughs> and the horseman. This guy kind of reminds me of Spawn. Hmm, maybe a bit. Uh, Spawn has more of a suit covering everything of him and a big ass cloak as well. Yeah, death just have a loincloth. A bit more than just a loincloth, and I swapped to the wrong thing. Okay. Well, the long clock is the closest thing we you have to arcade. Okay, this one. <laughs> long one, there. Okay, what's behind door number two then? Hello! Let's see. The more. Uh, which sort of makes spawn. him more badass automatically, yeah. Uh, spawn. A spawn may be an avatar of death, but uh, this character practically is death. Now, where do we need to stick this thing? Because I'm pretty sure we can wall run with them. And again, we've never had to try it. Well, we tried now. We got our answer. <laughs> Anyways, the other voice, that's my co-commentator, Drakir. Basically, every, every time I stream, he uh, I share... I share the screen to him as well, so he can commentate live. Yeah. I, I am also his brain that needed. Okay, Book of the Dead page. I think we're at about four. I thought we have four already. Okay, must have missed one at some point. All right then. Maybe I'll show me this time quest. Could be. Let's see. Always keep an eye out for the boxes. Something I just, something, something I think I've only now realized after three entire streams of this game is yep, Soul Arbiter Scroll. So, south, east, north, through the sword. Okay, that, that must be. Okay, we. So there is a maze at some <coughs> pardon at some point. Uh let's nice. see. East, south, north, but we also had that earlier that I think said west, west, north, east. That might be a hidden thing then. Oh well, okay. what was it? I thought that was WWE. No, I think it were. I think the third was more of an N. But we'll have to see. And oh, no time for vandalism this time. It seems. What is that going to close up on, though? Right. Nothing. Okay. I kind of expected something to snap shot on us there. Yeah, me too. That, that, that actually makes me worried. Oh. Quantum huh? nose is very itchy today again. Are you sure you don't want me to scratch it with a chainsaw? No. For one, it would take you a week of quarantine to get here. Uh, let's see. We need this on oh, the other the side there. Concern. Okay. 
Yeah, we just need to get around, clear up the path, and then we can bring it over. And that also gives us an opportunity to get that boatman's coin. Hmm. Okay, we can use that to open that up, I'm guessing, then. Hmm. Hopefully. And I think I just heard something close. Are we, did we get ourselves into a time to puzzle or something? It's... Uh, oh, I... I already know what we're going to do with this. Okay. So, I, I doubt that we can just jump across that, but no, we need to snatch it from the other side again. Oh! So, a, a bit of back and forth. Not, a, not that bad. Okay, he was trying to wall run on a statue for a second. There. And wait. Okay, now we have the lantern to light the way up here. For a moment I thought that knocked you over. <laughs> well, it, it is... It is about as big as death himself. I think it's bigger. I think you can fit inside it. There he goes with his ghost storm teaming again. Oh dear. Okay, and what is behind door number three then? And there's that. S oh, okay, that's the skull and the serpents. That that's the. I don't even know what if they gave it a name. <laughs> the skull boat. I'm just going to call it then. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get to that soon enough to show what the hell that is. Or we'll now, get what, back to it. That's supposed to be the uh, crest? I presume so, yeah. Okay, another relic. Another one that we can sell. And uh, Okay, someone got unlucky there. Someone forgot to clean up, it seems. Clean up? There's skull and bones everywhere! Yeah, when it's another... Okay, now it's scarabs and skeletons. And skeleton archers! With fire arrows! Okay. Wait, For... how you look? They okay, look so magical. that's what those gauntlets do. They have magical bones! <laughs> Pardon? Oh. Uh, let's see then. It's bug squashing, nothing really much exciting. But not a good idea to shoot the horseman in the back, dumbass. And again, he doesn't have much of an ass left, and neither does he. <laughs> nope. Make me smart. Oh god, they have eyes on this. They do, we have freaking private archers and... No, oh, it's just him up there getting angry. Because he couldn't join the fight. Uh, wait, is there still combat going on? I think that's a fool. There's a skeleton bugged up in the corner. Oh, Over there. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I thought I knocked his ass into the pocket. Okay. Oh, come on, even. God, at least throw something better than bugs at me with this. What are they shooting for? They could be thinking. Um, yeah, I think I don't need to say which song people. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Uh, not that one, no. 
Finally. Yeah. Okay. Combat music gone, so we can get our freaking stone. For some reason, this face looks familiar. Yeah. Kind of looks like uh, one of the monsters from the other game. I don't remember which, though. The big one that came up for the lava? Uh, his face was more angular, I think. Uh, what was his name again? Rackus? No. Rack? Not either, I think. That was one of the orcs that we killed in Orcs Must Die 3. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and make a bunker. Pardon? <laughs> okay, I think Death is getting a bit sick of all these health potions. That way. Okay. Oh, oh and this is a shortcut. Okay, it would have been quite a walk backwards otherwise. Hello, fresh girl. Okay. I think I'm missing some loot occasionally when you just rush away like that. I think we've gotten all of this place, so let's just stick this thing in. Uh, 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 no. Okay, something just came up for half a second. Ugh. I think I need. Run me for a bit. Okay, that should have cleared ugh, things up, up somewhat. Ugh. Okay. No. Let's get to the final door and get to our boss fights. Uh, it, it felt like my nose was suddenly filling up. Oh, so you feel like you want to sneeze? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll tell people. He is screen sharing to me through Discord, which means I can't see his face. That's very not. Yeah. Well, that is not impressed by whoever this guy is. I was gonna talk champion. Well, okay. I think you call him champion. I've right, already won one third. Yeah, this is the grave for enough people already. It's my job to put people in them, not lay in them. Where the heck did he go? Oh, he got launched. Oh, they are level 14. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Okay, these guys pack a punch. Might as well use one of the health potions to get hit death to shut up about all the health potions he can't possibly pick up. Okay, any more takers? Any more undertakers? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Because this world needs only one Undertaker, and he is death walking. Literally and figuratively. Okay. We've got shadow bombs here, but I don't see anything to blow up with them yet. Oh, no. At least we know they are here. Is the door closing? Skeletal wannabe. Okay, might as well make this quick. You sure of that? Since you've been torn to pieces. to keep trying for executions then. No, this is Darksiders. <laughs> I don't have a pit to kick any of them in though. It's raining bone! Okay, our blades are getting a calcium rich diet today. <laughs> okay, finally anyone else? Okay, no other takers. <laughs> okay, they, they are just throwing them at them uh, yeah, at us in droves. Yeah, but no other means Avery Home Pipe is my favorite enemy. Okay. Yes, we wanted it in the other direction. <laughs> and that's a simple trick with these again. Uh, actually, we don't have a need for those at the moment, since we need to pull this thing back. But we'll flip that back around. Yeah. Grab one of these. Put it on there. And there we go. Okay, okay this was a, a lot shorter. But this arena is a lot bigger. And have a lot more battle. Okay, no further bones. Scarab Hulk. Okay. I heard of a green hulk, a grey hulk, and even a red hulk, but not a scarab hulk. They got shields. Oh, I 
are you going to get? This it's thing really is really terrifying! Okay. Where does it hit even start or end with that? Okay, just keep oh. I'm not sure if I even got hit there or not. I, I, I got hit there. Uh, on, that's, oh, hello. To say what you will about that, but when he wants something dead, he makes pretty sure it is dead. Oh, it dropped something. <laughs> okay, get the stone, get the boss, kick its ass. We've seen this enough now already. For a moment I thought we weren't even getting that up up up. Uh, Wait, you yeah. hear that? Yeah, it's another skeleton <laughs> angry for being hung up there. <laughs> no. Is it just going to turn instantly again? Because I don't see any shadow bombs here. Uh, no, it, it goes a lot smarter. It goes... Yeah, on a delay. Okay. Now what we have to do is stick this thing in with the other two, and then we'll be done. Well, with the, with this fetch quest. Oh dear. No wonder. Should we look at our loot? Yeah. What is that? Do you have any better gear for the get friend? Let's see, more damage. Okay, he's almost stabbing himself with these. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. A glaive of frost. Hmm. Wait, frost damage and ice damage? What? No, it, ice damage goes to zero. Yeah, but I'm um, confused. Does ice damage and frost damage like? Why is the two different damage are basically the same thing? Good point, actually. Let's Ooh. let's give this a try during the boss fights. Anything with better stats? There's resistance, which I'm, I believe is magic uh, res uh, defense. Uh, no better pants. No better gloves. And no better boots. Okay. Here we go then. Come on, Death. I'm so many going at him for your wife from this. What? Yep, yep, yep. Did you ever try to pull me along for a ride at Nashnor. Is this their champion? It seems a bit small. <laughs> she freaking roly poly me. Yeah, down. <laughs> It's a build a bear boss and is he he dismasses with his own freaking spine. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, away from that. 
Okay, just keep nibbling at his ankles. Ow. Wait, is this a reference to Earthworm Jim? I don't think so. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, Jim Hall has gone through quite a change through in the years. Well, he basically beat off people with his own head at times, like him. Just like this one. Are you going to do anything else or just shout at me? Oh god, yeah, he is screaming his own head as a flail. He is doing the Earthworm Jim thing. Well, I should look at finally into finally playing those games sometimes. I never actually did any. Uh, yeah, okay, that's how we deal with you. We could have uh, had a funny to walk this series as well. Yeah. We can put it on our to watch list. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about free and YouTube even. See if you're bringing that old. There's also that new one that's being worked on at the moment. Yep, yeah, Are you just going to keep... No, yeah, the new one seems to be more for the older audience. I've it's only seen the uh, trailer of it so far. I think one of the trailers... No, I, uh, I, I think something clicked about and realized that... There's a lot of just old humor jokes in that one. Uh, I have to... I think there was a lot of that in the games and series as well. Ow. Yeah, that, that, that's what I mean. I saw some of the older clips and realized there's a lot of adult humor here. And this is a lot of the game of cringy, like a... That is so cute, whatever those are called. But yeah, most people who get caught to have a lot of adult humor in them. Is. Okay, I can't block on during this phase, so I just avoid getting well, bitten by the freaking bone bug. <laughs> One more round, though. And there we go. The Golden Skull, the prize you sought from the Gilded Arena. Okay, so that's why it's called the Gilded Arena. Horse advertisement, I say. If you go to an arena, Gilded Arena, please tell us for more gilding. Chaos Fang. These sites bear distinctive Hello. markings of the four horsemen. Known as the Chaos Fangs, the, uh, the, the sites reap a heavy toll among any enemy foolish enough to challenge death. In many ways, the Chaos Fangs resemble the weapon of the Horseman War, the infamously deadly Chaos Eater. Okay. So these were. These should be. Oh, wrong button. These should be his original thing. 20% critic Ooh. damage and 200% crit. You know, you know, 20 crit chance and 200% crit damage. They might be uh, better than we're using at the moment, in a way, and. Holy! It's, uh, it, it's a 23% crit chance. So yeah, let's let's give these a try for a while. Yeah, more chance to crit, uh, but also the crits hurts more. Yeah. <gasps> so that okay. might be a fair trade-off. Uh, now, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure we're going to get backstabbed by that Chancellor now. Uh, which of these was the exit again? I think, yeah, this one should be. Yep. You mean like the Blame just... Monster? Yeah, he said that he, he beat the arena as well. If, and if he beat the same thing we just beat, then that, I have to say, very impressive. And yeah, he said he got screwed over for it. Wait, there's two chests in here? Ah, hidden underneath. Uh, actually, this is something I was going to remark on earlier, but... Uh, there's no uh, Horde Seeker item in this game. We just know where the chests are automatically. Ooh! That's it's a good thing, I'd say. Quite good, I say. Yeah, save us having to look for that stupid thing and miss any chests that we might have found otherwise. Heck. And we turn this thing around because for some reason they thought it'd be a good idea to put this sort of security system at the entrance. It's still up. Actually, what is down here? We didn't go look. I honestly expected that we'd have to go down deeper to get to where we needed to be. So where the heck is this going? Here. Okay, are these the catacombs of the catacombs or something? Okay, it's a very big-ass door at the very least. Can we open it or... Okay, we can, but do we want to open it? Where the heck are we? Hmm. Okay. Now though, let's go back to the Eternal Throne. That, that is what it's called. Okay. <laughs> okay, Steel Trainer is still here, the Merchant is still here, and the Chancellor is up there. Now, will we get that audience? Probably not. I was so hoping you would not return. <sighs> what of the arena's champion, then? He won't be entertaining you any longer. No. Impossible. I believe your king will see me now. I cannot deny you. Another level up. The living horsemen of souls long overdue. You are not welcome here. Pity. I was starting to enjoy the atmosphere. Then you have not been here long. Billions of souls crowd my kingdom. All of humanity wailing for vengeance. But. I see you are already familiar with such music. What would you have of me, horseman? Show me the way to the Well of Souls. <laughs> and what do you seek there? Power over life and death? Or do you hope for absolution, Kinslayer? I wondered where the souls of your brethren had gone, for they never passed through my realm. Your realm hardly needs more subjects. True. Yet I must face this rabble without the lords who serve me. That's not my concern. Make it your concern, and I will grant your request. Find my three dead lords and wake them from their slumber. 
this will bend them to your will. Return the lords to me, that they might share my burden. Okay. So now we're going to have to go through three more dungeons, and then... Oh, interdiction. Gives the bearer the power of command over the dead lords of the Abyssal Plains. What the heck is a Parisier? Let's do something with... I'm just going to come up with this sooner or later. But yeah, like the Forge Lands, we'll have to go through three dungeons, beat probably three bosses in each of those, and then we'll face a world boss. Hmm. You're wasting my time. And he has nothing good to us to say. And okay, I did not, I did not overlook the item behind the dead king there. But we, we're going to return here sooner or later, anyways. But for now, that will have to be later because we're at the end of the stream time. Oh. <laughs> okay, someone is coming down with something as well. So let's keep our distance. <laughs> so, yeah. New area, a bit, bit of a different introduction at the very least, but other than that, yeah, like I said, we'll have to go get three dungeons done and then probably face another world boss. Though I don't remember which the one for this area is. With the Forest Lands, we have the giant ass guardian to deal with. For this, I don't remember what. We'll have to see. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah. For now, though, uh, let's see, we have all been chatting. Uh, uh, thank you for watching New Gundam Gaming, and thank you for bringing the rest along, or, or at least being the herald to their others. <laughs> uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for watching Jump Crowd's YouTube, uh, for actually bringing everyone along. Uh, Dr. Zombie, thank you as well. And uh, Mr. Lowle Gaming, thank you. And that's about it, or at least the people who were chatting. So, as always, thank you especially as well, Vakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah, thank you anyone else who has been watching now or later, whether you had, don't have a named account or something. Uh, thank you all the same. And, yeah, next time we'll be continuing with Darksiders in two days. And, oh, I, I missed Dust landing on his shoulder here. <laughs> yeah, that's the, no, that's the name of the crow. But, for now, thanks again, and until next time, and until then, have a nice day, and until then... Be safe, folks!